Hi guys! In today's digital age, our lives revolve around electronic devices. So don't let power surge damage your devices and cause financial headaches. So in this video, we are going to dive into why you need a 220 volt surge protection to safeguard your electronic from the damages of power surge. And whether you are working on a network infrastructure or any other technology project, we've got you covered. You can share your questions through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as they can. So what exactly is power surge? Power surge are sudden and temporary increase in voltage that occur within an electrical system. And they can be caused by lightning strike, faulty wiring, down power line and other electrical faults. And those factors pose significant threat to electronic devices, including damage to internal components, data corruption and loss, reduced lifespan and financial loss. So using a surge protector is of important while it comes to safeguarding our electronic devices and appliance. Now it acts as a barrier that diverting the excess voltage away from our devices and preventing it from causing irreplaceable damage. So now we're in front of the demonstration board next to me, we have the surge protection set up using the surge protector device, also known as the SPD. Now it has several protection class, class A, B, and C. Now class A is designed to handle large surge, provide robust protection against high energy surge. Now class B, this is class B surge protector. It has moderate surge handling capacity that offer protection against medium level surge generated by electrical equipment and external source which is suitable for residential, commercial, and light industrial application. Now, Class C has lower surge handling capacity compared to A and B, which is suitable for indoor usage. And response time is also one of the most important factors in SPD. Now, it measures how quickly the surge protector can respond to and divert excess voltage during a power surge. This one has less than 25 nanoseconds, which consider effective protection for most electronic devices. And it has 40 kA surge current rating. Now, surge current rating refers to the maximum amount of electrical current that the surge protector can handle without being overwhelmed. 40 kA means it can withstand and divert up to 40,000 amperes of surge current. And the maximum is 80 kA, which is 80,000 amperes. So now let's take a closer look at our surge protection setup. As you can see, we have two circuit breaker. This is the 220 volt surge protector. And this is a power supply for the PoE switch. Now I only put one, but you can put two for redundancy if required. But some of you may wonder, why do we have two circuit breaker? Actually, one is for the SPD and the other one is for the power supply and the PoE switch for a greater protection. Imagine if our SPD is damaged, that means it will stop. And if it's receiving a high power voltage, that means it might cause spark to the circuit breaker. And it's dangerous because it can cause fire and eventually it will stop the PoE switch because it's connected to one circuit breaker. So in this case, I'm doing two. So now this one is for the SPD. If something happens, it will turn off automatically so it won't affect our PoE switch and the power supply. Now let's turn back it on. So let's see, we have the power cord goes in here to our first circuit breaker and it has line go out to the second circuit breaker. And this one is going out from here to connect to our SPD. Now L is for the phase line and N is for the known line. 
and this one is the grounding cable. It will take the surge and they will act as a magnet that take the extra voltage and divert it down to the earth through this grounding cable. And then we'll see the first circuit per circuit breaker has the line connected directly to our power supply and our power supply is connecting to our PoE switch to provide reliable network. So I've briefly introduced how to use the surge protective device. And if you live in an area where lightning strikes are often, I strongly recommend you to add an SPD. When lightning hit the ground, the surge will spread out the area. And then the copper cable will absorb the surge. So without an SPD, the surge will go directly to your edge device and cause damages. It will cause power loss, data loss, and also financial loss. So even though the SPD cannot prevent 100% surge, but it can provide about 90%. I think that's more than enough to protect your edge devices. And here are some more considerations that you should keep in mind too. Most importantly, you need to turn off the power while installing the SPD. Next, you need a regular inspection on your surge protection device. Next, you can replace a surge protector after experience a power surge or when it reaching the maximum capacity. Last but not least, when we are putting the system outdoor, we need to put it in a waterproof electrical box. And thank you very much for watching us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And you can also feel free to leave a comment below and start a conversation.